Are you providing vaccinations during the COVID-19 outbreak? If so, be sure to follow standard precautions for infection control and prevention, or IPC, such as using soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub to clean your hands before and after each patient. In addition, be sure to organize vaccination sessions in a way that reduces the risk of infection with the virus that causes COVID-19. Whether you're delivering routine vaccinations at a fixed or outreach site or implementing a campaign, you should ensure the vaccination site is safe. In this video, we will talk about what measures to take. Pick a well-ventilated area, preferably outdoors. If you're using an indoor space, you can achieve good ventilation by opening windows. Avoid recirculating indoor air with fans or air conditioning units. Ensure one meter distance is maintained between each person in all directions. Specifically, set up the waiting area to allow for physical distance. Consider using physical markings or signs to make it easier for people to know where to sit or stand at a distance. Cloth masks may be worn by patients and their caregivers, especially when medical masks are in short supply. Masks are not encouraged for young children or for anyone who is unable to remove them without assistance. Vaccinators should also maintain a one meter distance between themselves and caregivers as much as possible. Limit the number of individuals at each immunization session to avoid crowded waiting areas and longer wait times. For example, you may hold sessions more frequently for fewer individuals. You may also schedule appointments for immunizations. For each vaccination interaction, limit the number of people who accompany the person receiving the vaccine. People should move in one direction through the vaccination site. Ensure that there is enough space for patients and caregivers to flow in one direction while always maintaining a one meter distance between themselves and others. For example, they may enter through one door and exit through a different door, always moving in one direction. Screen for patients who are presenting with respiratory symptoms before they enter the vaccination post. The purpose of screening is to recognize possible COVID-19 cases early, determine adequate protection measures, and to refer the patients for COVID-19 testing and care. If it is feasible, put posters up so that patients are aware of which symptoms are related to COVID-19 and that they can report any symptoms. During the screening process, maintain one-way flow and one meter distance between each person. If you identify a suspected COVID-19 patient, what should you do? If you identify a suspected COVID-19 case, separate that person from others and give him or her a medical mask. Refer the person for COVID-19 testing and care. When interacting with a suspected COVID-19 case, wear a gown, eye protection, gloves, and a medical mask. Finally, always position yourself sideways to the person you are vaccinating and their caregiver so you are not face to face with them. To recap, these are the measures you should take when organizing any vaccination site during COVID-19 outbreaks so it is safe for patients, staff and your community. Depending on whether you are in a routine or a campaign setting, there may be other measures to put in place as well. When you are at a fixed site, always have an alcohol-based hand rub or a hand washing station available at the entrance of the health facility or vaccination site. Wherever possible, separate the vaccination site from curative services. For example, you may set different hours for different types of services 
or you may set up a separate space for vaccination. Bundle vaccinations with other health services to limit visits to the health facility. When you are preparing for an outreach session, make every effort to ensure a hand washing station with running water or an alcohol-based hand rub is available. Take an infection prevention and control kit with you in addition to the vaccination supplies. Then, if you identify a suspected COVID-19 patient, you will be able to protect yourself while managing the patient. What does an IPC kit include? An alcohol-based hand rub and other personal protective equipment that you would need when interacting with a COVID-19 case, eye protection, medical masks, gloves, gown, and a garbage bag for safe waste disposal. The IPC kit should include several medical masks for replacement needs. When preparing for a campaign, you will need to communicate with the community about what precautions you are taking during the COVID-19 outbreak and why. Engage especially with community leaders and explain the safety precautions you will be following. Open communication is a good way to gain acceptance within the community and ensure your safety measures are successful. Be sure to adapt social mobilization messages to the outbreak context. For example, messages should include information about how people will need to distance themselves and wear a mask if they have one. Train social mobilizers in IPC measures so they are able to support you. When setting up temporary or mobile posts during the campaign, always take an IPC kit with you. Finally, consider the best way to promote hand hygiene at your campaign post. Running water can be scarce in some locations, so it is essential to make an alcohol-based hand rub available. You should now know how to set up a safe vaccination site, whether it is a fixed site, an outreach session, or a campaign.